What's happening guys, it's Elite Phaser and today we're going to be doing a pack opening with the 350 FIFA point jumbo player packs only so we're just going to get players we're looking for the Brazilians, we want the Brazilians and here we just get Dembele decent player, I think he goes for about eight, 900 coins so you know he's no use to us we're just going to store everyone in the club and later on we'll put them up for sale or whatever we have to do now we need decent players guys we need like the Thiago Silvers or the Marcelos hopefully the Marcelos <laughs> but here we get Carroll he's our rare player now that's just sad that's just that, that's purely just sad isn't it to be honest but let's go we're gonna keep going until we don't have enough FIFA points to buy more I think this is the last jumbo player pack and in this pack we get Alba Alaba at the front and we get Gomez Gomez and we get David Luiz himself the overrated centre back so he's gonna be good use for us put him in the team why not and I think that's Reva or however the fuck you say his name Reva another Brazilian we need him so why not now we run out of FIFA points for that jumbo pack thing so we're gonna have open a premium goal pack and then that will give us another um, 100 points to open a normal goal pack so here yeah, we just store everything in the club keep the ball keep you know the manager uh, league things let's go it's the last pack and we get who do we get nobody that's what we get not a single fucking player but we get a maestro card that could be useful and 2k coins yes I'll take the 2k coins thank you now, so everyone in the club, and so far, the best player we got is Wayne Rooney. Now we've got David Luiz. I think these are two great pack openings so far. Well, I think this is about the fifth or sixth pack opening. Two of them went wrong, and oh, long story. I'm still figuring out this whole recording situation. There's Wayne Rooney, Hulk. Um, here, right. I like to I see how much a player is worth and if he's not worth more than a discard much more than a discard value I'll sell him quick sell him I don't really give a damn I'm a very lazy trader I don't care what anybody says I'm a lazy trader Felipe Luis we find out how much David Luis is worth let's see I think he's worth around 20k or so from last I remember no He's worth 16, 17k. So 17k isn't bad, I suppose. It's still a decent amount of money. Not that we're gonna sell him. We're gonna stick him in the team because he's overrated. He, this kid can catch fucking Messi and Ronaldo. Seriously, I don't know what his stamina is, but he's fucking unreal. We're just gonna quick sell everyone now because I'm. Just, I cannot be bothered to deal with having to look at people. Dembele, we checked how much he is, and he goes for about 750, 800, I think, at the most. Oh no, he goes for a grand. And I didn't want to stick him up. Because I'm lazy. So. We'll just quick sell him. Because I'm lazy. No, actually, fuck it. We'll decide to just stick him up. See what he goes for. See if he does sell. I'm sure he does sell. I'm doing. Th I've done the pack opening already. I'm just recording my voice over this. Because when I was doing it. Uh, my son was awake. And he was making a lot of noise. So I thought, fuck it. He's just going to occupy the camera. He loves seeing himself. So, Gomez, I'm very surprised Gomez isn't worth anything. That surprised me a lot, how Gomez is not worth much. It was very sad to see as well, because he was going to be in Newcastle. I think if he came to the BPL, I think he would have been worth a little bit more, but sadly, nothing. And here we get Javi Garcia. He's worth about a grand. So, quick sell him, we're not losing much. Mycon, I'm looking to replace Mycon, guys, but I don't know any other right backs other than like I think is uh, Danny Alves I think it is is the right back I think is the right back right like he's about 60 60,000 do I really want to spend 60,000 on the right back I know I spent 20,000 on Hulk but that's because it's Hulk you know I, I like playing with Hulk he's an actual fucking tank now all these non rare players they go for 300 coins I think 316 I think is the most correct me if I'm wrong but you know just sell them What's the point? Uh, people are going to be looking and saying, Oh, you should have put him up. Put him up for 400 or something, 450. And got 100 coins out of it. No. I'm not sitting around waiting for people to 
pick up these crappy players. No one's going to use them. So I don't understand why people buy these type of players. Like I'll look at a team and I'll see these shitty players and I'll think why? What did you achieve in buying him? Like I know some people like obviously aren't going to open packs and that and I implore you go for it. Like open one or two like you know get get some money together like if save your dinner money or your um pocket money and stuff. Put it together buy some FIFA coins if you're like properly into FIFA. If you're not then don't waste your money because it'll just you know you won't know what to do with them later like i'm thinking of when i when i do think about changing my team into a pure bpl team ar around wayne rooney i'm thinking of pink slipping every single player in one match from from my brazil squad so i'm thinking of doing that now i don't know what you guys think of that but i think that's a really good idea it'll give something back to you lot and why not i suppose i'm not going to be losing much it's only going to be about I think my entire team's worth from what I bought them, not what they're worth on the market right now, is about 60, uh, 40k I think at the most. Right, so maybe just look at who we got now. And I wanted to put David Luiz in, and then I realized we still got Silvers. Let's get rid of them. We're not going to use them, we're not going to need them. Now, guys, I run with a bronze bench. Why? Because every son of a bitch in this fucking game does it. Why the fuck should I have to put my team's rating up to 82, 83 rated, yeah? For the sake to come up against fucking people with informs. Why do I have to pick go, go for the hard games? I don't think so. No, mate. I'll stick to the easy games. Why? Oh, it's not because I'm shit at FIFA. I'm decently well at FIFA, right? It's the fact that if everyone else does it, why the fuck can't I do it? Why do I have to sit there, right, buy players, right? And fucking have to deal with other people fucking playing some unreal players against me. I don't want to play against unreal fucking informs and that. No thank you. Yeah, I'm not going to put my team's rating up to unreal amounts. Just for the sake that fucking... It keeps people happy. Fuck that. Uh, no way. I'm not going to do that. What the fuck's the point? You see what I mean? But here we go, guys. We got... They're going to put Sandro back on. Luis Gustavo was just not working for me. I don't know why. I just didn't like the way he played. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. This is Elite Phaser. Our next video for Road to Ronaldo will be out soon. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank you very much.